<laughs> but yeah, no, do you know, do you know how it's so funny because the one time I get, I drew Yannick out yeah. was when um, I posted you saying that you iced him. I'm just, but he knows though. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he actually knows though. Like, yeah, and my brother. Mm. I get like if you're watching that, you would like some of his bars. What he's saying, I'm a bigger target than him. Not for football, mm. but with who my family members are and whatever. Yeah. So he's gonna say some funny things. If we're talking <laughs> bars and you get me cleverness in the bars and that, come on, man. Mm. You didn't actually want to do music though, apart from do you know outside what? of uh, nah, nah. Do you know what? I'll say this here. Like I did. Like mm. I did, but because I was in that. In that football world. And back then, it's not like now, you know, you see like Sterling's and like they're free. Yeah. All well, them young ballers, the, the black ones, they're free. Mm. It weren't like that then, fam. Yeah. I was shook to have any, I would never think about like, but in my cousin's studio, fam, we got like, I got like no banter, but like, mixtapes and that. Like. Mm. Mixtapes? I'm telling you like two and like two mixtapes. From how, how far back though? This is like, I got the worst memory. 2000 what? From like 2007, like to like, mm. 12s and that like I swear I've, I've always been like uh, always but I just that world then I wasn't looking to go into football and the man is hearing I got tunes and all this like them, <laughs> them, them days you get me that was mad it's so funny because um there must be something f- from your side of south because Dicko swears by it like he's a musician nah, I've heard his bars he's, he's got the one bar that's like decent <laughs> no but even have you heard his singing no he can sing the boy can sing oh my god yeah he can sing yeah. I've heard him sing Dicko. too swears by it that he could have he could have done music now it's just goals never done but they said goals never done <laughs> he ain't lying though I still see him banging goals fam he ain't lying yeah no that's that's one thing about about Dicko that I can always say like he's he knows where the back of the net is yeah nah and it's, from, go on no I was gonna say it's mad though because like getting into that the whole striker thing I always say to people that like, when people diss you know strikers and whatever you know that old thing of the hardest thing is to put the ball in the back of the oh, net yeah. Yeah, but like, you man master it, bro. Man, but you know what? The battle mm. up here is meant for me anyway, personally. Because mm. there's times I feel like I'm the coldest. Yeah. Like, I will never say that. But in my mind, I'm walking to the game with a smirk. I'm blessed. Mm. Like, I feel like I'm the deadliest. Mm. But then there's other times, even when I'm still scoring a bit, I'm thinking, damn, nah, I was kind of lucky that game. Yeah. Didn't hit that how I want. You get me? Mm. Or say if I don't score in four, because I grew up in a time where it's like, Ronaldo and Messi messed it. They mm. play, like, messed it up. But yeah, yeah, yeah. One in two. Mm-hmm. I grew up in a one in two, you're a good striker. Yeah. And fam, that would always mm. get me like be in my mind if I ain't scored for like two. I'm like. It's, it's so funny you say that because. I'm always battling. It's funny you say that because now when I look at, um, what do you call it? Like strikers. I always look at one in two. One in two. I, I always look at, you know, when I look at their striker, I look at one in two. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good striker. That's a good striker. But now, do you know what's so crazy? If you were 10, 15 years younger, you'd probably be like one of the standout strikers in this day and age. You think? Because of your goal record, like, it's your MLS, like... Yeah, the MLS record, yeah, yeah. I hear you. That would just get moved straight away. Yeah, because yeah. the reason why I say that is because <clears throat> now, strikers can be one in three, one in Man, four. They don't... A lot get, of them don't have to score. And get mad moves. A lot of them don't have to score, bro. Mm. Like, for me, Neil, I think you're a baller. Yeah. Like, technical ability, you're a baller. Mm. But f- I feel like there's no pressure on that man to score goals, bro. Mm. I feel like we're that way with Lacazette. Lacquer? Mm. There's no, like, I'm an Arsenal fan. I want Lacquer to score, and I rate Lacquer. Lacquer gets so a lot I. of... So do I, man. He gets a lot of abuse that's like, mm. man are not really watching football. If you mm. think Lacquer's shit... Sorry, am I allowed to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. If you think if you think lack of shit, then I don't know if you know football. Yeah, like his all round game is class, mm. but he don't have to bang goals. It's like manager saying, "Oh no, it's just it don't matter." I think now it's funny because with, with the whole Aubameyang thing, yeah, and the fact that we're not scoring it's now, it's just like lack is rubbish. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, like people yeah. talk about lack like, like he's he's rubbish. I but think he was getting that before though. Yeah. I think he was getting that before. Man, we're I, I, always I, I, mugging him. In my groups and that, man, I'm like, shit, like, yeah. this on the internet. I'm like, yo. And I think that only ever happens when we're not banging in goals. When we're not banging goals. in goals. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, when Aubameyang's yeah. doing his thing, no one really cares, innit? No one cares and they can appreciate Lacquer's, yeah. what Lacquer does. And I'm I'm with you, man. Sometimes I'm, sometimes I start thinking, 
I might I might have tapped one because no. I like Lacazette. Lacazette's a baller. That's I, why you I, know I like him. But he don't. Yes, he don't score. I would love him to score more goals. Yeah, obviously, too, but like, it's just not. You know, yeah, but it's, it's a thing though. Some people don't have that. Even mm. me, I don't think I had that. Like, let's talk about like, my little brother Brett. Mm. Like he didn't make it, but his mind frame of like scoring goals. Mm -hmm. Like if I had his, then yeah. I think I'll be even. I would have been even more of a like mm. it kind of set up like my dad. You get me? You see, my that. dad. I it, fam. I some. I'm a man. I'm not like the greedy striker. Mm. Like I don't mind like setting my up or if I can score, I might pass to him. I don't have that thing like mm. that. I have it sometimes. Yeah, I go through like patches, but like, I don't have useless. it. Have it? No. Shall I tell you, he's got that. Mm. Jermaine Defoe. That that's like my top three strikers, man. Mm. See, Jermaine Defoe is in like my top like. I shouldn't say three because I'm being mad. I'm old. I'm a bag of man, but he's like one of my favorite strikers. Mm. That brother is a beast. No, J underrated Jermaine in this. He's the only one that can get away with being that greedy for yeah, me. Yeah, no, he's greedy. Because I know, but the thing is, I don't mind you being greedy yeah. like that. Yeah. If you back, if, yeah. if the ball with him, it's, he'll ignore the pass, but the ball ends up ooh. in the back of the net. Or it's target. Yeah, 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 yeah. At least. Yeah, it's it's an exciting time to be like a youngster in, in football. Yeah. yeah. And the reason you're stretching for that, do you want me to put something No, it's calm. It's calm, whatever. Yeah. Um, and I say that because normally when I speak to like pros who are on the back end yeah. of their of their careers, they all say that managers, well not all, but about ninety percent of them, managers and just football in general just kind of disregard once you're over thirty. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a yeah it's as if you've got no youth in Nothing, man, it's like that. Yeah, and now when you look at the youngsters who are coming up and, you know, a lot of them don't even have to do too much at, at times to be yeah. considered one of one of the best. But yeah. You know, I, I just want you to just quickly speak on what it's like being a player on the other side of 30. Yeah. Regardless of your, you know, your history of scoring goals yeah. or your form. Like, for you, I, I, have you found and have you noticed the difference? Yeah, sure. Like, 100%. I remember, I'll start with, when I was young, like, talking about what we were talking about before, like, people like Andy Cohen. I mm. feel like they were my age, maybe a little younger, but they were well-respected. They were still... They were still looked at as top strikers. Yeah. There's not a young guy, someone else is coming in and replacing them. Mm. You get me? Especially when they were at Man City, Matt, uh, Andy Cole, Robbie Fowler. But for me, even when I was at Red Bull, and I'm talking like banging in goals, mm. as I got to like 33, yeah. I'm hearing, you know what I mean? They're trying to get, they're trying to like offload 33, 34. So it, they don't care. Mm. They do not care. Nowadays, it's just get a young player in. And yeah, no matter what that old brother's done, the older guy's done. No matter what, everyone's just going for the young, athletic, you get yeah. me how, yeah, fam. it's obviously money involved in it, man. But, yeah, I, I don't rate it, because when I was young, going into change rooms, I'm seeing the older guys, that was like, mm. I knew I had to wait my, yeah. in my mind, I almost had a thing where I've got to wait till he's retired. Yeah. Then it's, you get me, then it's, then it's my time. But yeah. Him, yeah, it's different now, fam. It's, speak. Yo, yo, yo. Speak. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, go ahead and speak again. Yeah, 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 good, 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 good. Yeah, man, it's just, it's a different time, I think. Yeah, as soon as you get past that 30 mark, it's, the value of you just goes down. It don't matter what you've done. It's, mm. man, it's just over it. It's, when I was younger, growing up watching, you know, like Champions League, mm. and you always see, like, the the big teams, a lot of the players be classed as world-class or the best were in, you know, it was always, like, from 28 to 31, yeah. 32, mm. your prime. Mm. So I was used to the older players yeah. being, in being the, the ones. Whereas now, it's like it's almost like you're done if you're not if you haven't reached you know your peak at twenty five. And that's not prime anymore. Yeah, mm. like twenty eight to thirty two years. Yeah, not. Mm. It's, it's, it's sad though. I don't I don't mm. like that at all because you know what it does for the younger players. They're not ready yet. Mm. What they're asking them to do at them ages, they're not yeah. ready, fam. Mm. I, I I say that about you know a lot of young players now. They've got all the potential in the world, but. They're not allowed to go through you ups, know, and, the ups downs. and downs yeah. as, as players anymore. So we see it. We, we'll just talk about Greenwood. Greenwood. People will come and write off Greenwood. It's not too long ago I heard people writing off Greenwood. Me too. Yeah, Like I've he's heard, done. It's a you. I've heard people talk about yesterday's one. I heard someone talk about Havertz. Havertz is like, he's rubbish. They need to sell him. And I'm like, Havertz is like 20, 21. These men are young, bro. bro. That's why, even with Saka, Emil Smith-Rowe, love them to bits, yeah. But 
I always say it's unfair that they need that they should be carrying us yeah, yeah, at, at such a young age. Yeah, number right. one, number two, I know for a fact they're gonna go through times where it's not looking it's like not, how it's looking now. Yeah, but mm-hmm. where football now is, you know, it's such a big business, yeah. social media, and like the pressures on the, they're not then they're, they're not gonna be allowed to yeah. go through it. Like <clears throat> you as a player, you were able to play your football. I had no pressure at their age. I had no pressure on me. Mm. Imagine I was literally that. coming off the bench. Mm. Next game, come off the bench. Little 15, 20 minutes, hit a little start here and there. Yeah. You get me? There was no, I wasn't the one that had to carry a team. That's it. It wasn't on me if they stayed up. It wasn't on me if they went down. Mm. I was just learning to play football with, like, with men. Yeah. But they don't have that. That's as soon as they can, like, as soon as they just know this kid's a baller, mm. that's it. They just think, okay, he's our star. He's yeah. Our, he's the one that's going to make us win the Prem or. Yeah, it's it's, one that's getting us it's not fair. It's mad, and and I think you know a lot of players, uh, and I kind of see this now. By the time they do get to twenty seven, twenty eight, it's like they're burnt out already. Especially with what the amount of football these top teams play, mm. then international ball. I don't know. I, after the world, there was like no rest for these guys. Like leading up mm. to the the Euros, um, yeah, they had the Prem, then they went Euros. Mm. It's a, it's a pandemic. Then they come back. Now they got the World Cup. These guys don't rest. They play Champions League. Mm. It's a lot of emotions, a lot of pressure. Yeah, these men have to deal with. It's crazy. Man. You know, Matt. If you look at the England team from the Euros, um, I said that after the Euros, when you look at most of that, most of that England team, yeah, none of them have performed. Yeah, it's facts, isn't it? none of them have performed. Like. You know, sack. Well, it's later in the season now, so yeah, it's, so they're, they're say, coming Sterling's into it. Done all, it's Sterling done all right. I thought not really no numbers no, were, no not really in it. Kane struggled. Kane struggled, but that came. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll leave that one for another, yeah. <laughs> another day. But um, you know, I, I felt like Saka struggled when when he came back. Yeah, he was. Do you know what I mean? Like, but now obviously the season's going on. But l- like you said, there's no rest. No, nah, they don't there's rest. No These rest, top man. players nowadays they don't rest, man. That's the, that's it, man. But yeah. Yo, Counter Attack Podcast should really have done the intro at the beginning. Um, with myself, Daps. Guys, keep liking, subscribing, sharing. We're back again. You know, starting off the year really, really good. So far, I've had Shandon Baptiste, Brentford, John Nuble, um, up there in Scotland for Livingston. And today we've got, you know, well, you could probably already see who we've got, to be honest, been talking. But um, we got a guy who is, and you won't say it yourself, but you are an MLS legend. You actually said that yourself. No, I wouldn't say that. But you know you are, don't you? I just wouldn't say that. You know what I mean? Hello, but but you know life's you are, not though. over. That like, someone could come and in my thing is not. I hear that, but you yeah. know you are, don't you? Like, <laughs> <laughs> MLS legend. You know, like a guy that's actually made his own lane. When no disrespect, I know a lot of people were just looking at him as another legend, son in the beginning. Mm-hmm. So, guys, we have it here, Bradley Wright Phillips. Right. Yeah, man. How you doing, man? Can't complain, fam. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's funny that I just said that in the intro. <laughs> I just made that up. But <laughs> um, did you actually feel that way in the beginning? That like you was just eating about sun? Yeah, I didn't. But you know what? I only noticed that as I got older. Because mm. I would get that question all the time from like in like interviews. Do you feel pressure? Mm. And I think the young me and the, the guy that's trying to be like, nah. You get mm. me? I'm, I'm saying, no, nah, not at all. I've got yeah. my own career. The, the all, the, all the answers, you get yeah. me? Yeah. No, this is my career. I don't think about it. But as I got older, I realised I did like feel the pressure. Mm. Like, little things would annoy me. Like, if I, if I done well, mm. I'm supposed to do well. Yeah. You get me? So, so he should be. Or, or it's not that good. Yeah. What he's done. When I, if I don't do well, if I'm having a bad time, it's like, oh, he's shit. Yeah. You get me? Like, it's always like, here or it's it's never up here but it's always like really bad or okay yeah he's done all right there to be fair but he yeah. should be doing that he's dad's Ian right or his brother Sean right Phillips. yeah but it's only when I got older and when I de- decided to go to America like I just wanted to to not hear that noise I mm. didn't want to be Ian Wright's son like, yeah. in the football obviously I wanted to, I'm not saying I don't want that to be my dad yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. I didn't want to just hear that you know mm. what I mean so I wanted to go America and just start off start a fresh career mm. Do you, do you ever feel, yeah, and we're not going to make this about your dad, obviously, but do you ever feel like, not resentment, but was there ever this sort of anger, like, yo, like, I'm more than just, you know, right, son, like, I wish I wasn't that, but, do you know what I mean? What? Yeah, no, I know what you're saying, it's not it's not a resentment, but yeah. I did used to think just, 
just judge Bradley. Yeah. Just don't don't think about Ian Wright. Don't mm. think about just judge Bradley. Yeah. Like, yeah, that will come into my mind like a lot. But like again, that's why I went to America. I think as I got yeah. older, I went there about twenty eight. Yeah. Went, this is long. And now and it <laughs> works out. Because it worked out because you go over there, they're calling him Ian Wright Phillips. They don't know, you get me? Like oh, right. some, of them, <laughs> some of them will call him, you know what I mean? That's Bradley's dad, you know mm. what I mean? So I had to go and just do my own thing. Yeah. Now, I, listen, when you went and you started killing it, honestly, it made me it made me happy. And and I think you're one of the people who and a lot of people won't realise this until like years down the line. I think that you're one of the people that made it cool to go to LA. I mean, we're always going to talk about the Beckhams. And yeah, whatever, yeah, of course. But you go in there and be in a, a household name, regardless of the reason why you're a household name, and doing well over there. Yeah. And people seeing that, oh, wow, he's actually like a star out there. Yeah. It really put them on the map. And when you went over there, did you, did you start to see a difference in like, the players coming there and, and just yeah. the reputation as a whole? But do you know what I would see? I would get phone calls all the time, man, trying to ask me like can can you get me out there can you help mm. or can you get me there's a lot of people that wanted to come out there but yeah. even me i didn't i wasn't rating mls like that i just it was new york red bulls mm. and thierry Henry's there yeah i'm an arsenal fan that's it and i was done with england so my my agent was like you just go just go train and see in it yeah i'm getting there i'm thinking we're going to be training in like schools and that and that. i wasn't yeah. i was just <laughs> mugging it i was mugging it by actually just like when i read comments like from people from england how they talk about the mls that's how I, I, in my mind, I was kind of like that. Mm. I was like, all right, but if, if it's good enough for Thierry or yeah. Tim Cahill, well, let me just go see in it. Mm. I went over there, nice training ground, mad, mad stadium. Mm. I'm still like ignorant. I'm like, yeah, yeah. this is decent. You get me? So I've gone there, yeah, the training, and I loved it. Where else? And it's New York. Mm. Like, playing football in New York, like, is, is mad. Yeah. To me, even now, I think about it, it's mad. That's sick. They fill up that they fill up stadium. Yeah, right? they when I got there they were like now the the attendance at Red Bull's not too great. But it was oh, what, in, what do you think there's oh, but in the MLS though, yeah, mm. stadiums are getting filled. Yeah. Like there's mad, like Atlanta getting madness. And really? the city feel like Atlanta get I don't, I, well, I don't want to tell any lies, but it's a lot like sixty thousand maybe. Yeah, it's crazy. Which is massive for soccer. Yeah. Soccer. soccer. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. it's crazy. But I want what I wanna say is like when I am done playing, I don't know when that'll be, it could be tomorrow, it could be next year, but Mm. When I'm done playing, I want to do something where I get like, there's ballers obviously in England that just get lost in, mm. they're not playing, you know what I mean? But they think like, I can't go here or I can't go there. Because I was the same as like the Prem and Championship, it's like mm. the Holy Grail. Yeah. Like it's the only place you can be successful or respected. Mm. And there's there's bare players that should probably go missing, you get me? And I know they could like do well over there, make a name for themselves. Yeah. I think more like young English players should try and go there and get me that like, make a name for them I, I, I think that too and last week when I spoke to Joel Nubley who's up and he's, he's in Scotland now. I just heard his name somewhere the other day maybe someone tweeted it or something maybe yeah so it's Frank Nubley's brother okay yeah so he's just he made his uh, he's gone up to Scotland for Livingston mm. Scottish Premier League but they've shipped him out on loan straight away to I don't know he's in the lower lower yeah but then he's killed it they've recalled him now mid, mid season yeah but and He's gone on to, you know, push on Sick. and, and, and make, make, made his debut against um, Rangers. Sick. Yeah. So when I was talking to him about it, and he's like my guy guy. Like yeah. I, I played with him down at Haringey a couple of years ago. So we're going to get onto that right in a second. So um, I was saying to him that I think a lot more players, because even me, I went abroad. Yeah. But it weren't cool. Yeah, it's, it's, not, yeah, it, you went, it's yeah. almost like you go abroad because you're not good enough. Yeah, that's what it feels. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. So, um, yeah, um, I was like, now I'm seeing more players, like the younger ones, yeah. they're less shook of just, just going go. abroad. Yeah. And I said I said to him, what has that done for him? And, and he turned around and he, he said, in England, they make you feel like what you said, like, yeah. unless you're playing in England, then you're not, then, then you're not doing anything. He's like, no. I'm playing in the Scottish Premier League at Rangers, right, yeah. Champions League teams. Yeah. Do you get what I'm yeah, saying? What like, you want, like, like it goes. But then, if I'm playing League Two, people might look at it and respect, respect it, more. it more. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. You got. I'm sorry to cut you, but you, yeah, you got no. a man in League Two. No disrespect to League Two, whatever. Mm. Go and play, maybe in Chicago. Mm. You get me? They get big names in them places that you can play. So Schweinsteiger was at Chicago. Imagine that. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. man from anywhere. You think that you gotta stay here and play like 
like in a play, like League Two where the stadiums are not good. They, mm. they, you go over there somewhere where men are mugging it. Yeah. They've got amazing stadiums, mm. full houses, full houses, and you're playing with some ballers. Yeah. I don't know what's wrong with it. You get me? I don't know what's wrong with that. Yeah. But man will float around and like hanging on in in, in whack kind of whack clubs and maybe not playing and all of this. Like go and branch out, go somewhere else. It's not the only I place you can be successful. I definitely feel that. Like yesterday, Arsenal signed a keeper from. Yeah. Um, ben Turner. Yeah. 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 From yeah. American League. Yeah. Do you get what he's I'm a, saying? Like, he's a good keeper. Oh, is it? Yeah. He's a good it's, it's funny, yeah, because obviously you're in America now, yeah? yeah. So I would expect you to know a little about some of the teams you play against or whatever. But yeah. are you proper in the know when it comes to American football? You know, like you would be with English football. What, like American Real soccer, so, yeah, yeah, soccer. Yeah. Let's, just because, yeah, 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 program, yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't worry, I do call it football. Yeah, yeah okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, I know everything. I'm playing mm. against these brothers every week. You get yeah. me? Yeah, I know like all the players, all like, the young players. Oh, so he's a good keeper, yeah. Yeah, he's a good keeper. Oh, okay, cool, cool. But I don't know. Is I'm not sure why they got him. Like, we just got Ramsdale. Maybe Leno must be leaving or something. Like yeah, that. I saw something yesterday. Leno's leaving in the summer. So. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I don't uh, know. He's a good keeper. He's national team. He plays for their national team. And mm. he's a good oh, okay, that's 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 cool. Yeah. That's cool. Um, very quickly before we move off that, um, are you surprised talking about keepers? How uh, well Ramsdale's done? I kind of am. I won't lie because I didn't. I'm not watching. I'm not going to lie to you and say I'm out there watching goalkeepers. Mm. You get me? Mm. I know that. He, where was he? Sheffield. Where was he on loan? He was somewhere. Sheffield was at Bournemouth. They at Sheffield United. Yeah, and I know the team's got relegated. This is what everyone's yeah, saying. Yeah, but yeah, This is the only stuff I'm just rolling. Mm, mm, so mm. I didn't know. Yeah. But he's a bad boy. That's all I know now. Listen. That needs to be our number one until this man don't play. No yeah, yeah, no, he's he's good, man. And, and at first I, f- I was thinking, I was never against the signing. I was against, because I thought it was going to be a number two mm. for, for 30 million. Yeah, yeah that's like, bad. No, yeah, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> mad. And yeah. we need players in. We need players. He's come in and I'm just like, do you know what? That thirty minutes looking like a good, a good thing, right? and and what I like most about him is that he's got presence. And he just calms, yeah, talk, and also how he talks to them when they're messing up. Bro. This is what Arsenal have been missing for years, you know. Mm, mm. Some accountability. Yeah, I see this brother shouting at man. If, a, if teams, are, if a, a, the opposition team's getting a shot off, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing from this guy. Man. Yeah, I like what I see from this guy. Not just a good goalkeeper, but. Like you said, present. Yeah, man. Uh, what, you see Arsenal, yeah? Let's, let's stay here quickly. See, <laughs> see Arsenal, yeah? We're only If we get an uh, out-and-out goal scorer, mm. I think we're blessed. Mm-hmm. Another midfielder, but if we get an out-and-out goal scorer, we are blessed. But do you know the thing about Arsenal, though, yeah? I've been saying this for years. Have you noticed we're only ever, at any given time, two, three, maybe four signings away from really being really blessed bit, yeah. but they, they just never they ever they do it it's like they're just, trolling us you know? yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. sometimes yeah. I sit and think about Arsenal I'm like are they just winding man up well I saw yesterday that um, Newcastle signed that Bruno guy that we were linked with how are Newcastle I know they got peas now yeah but, but how are they winning this over Arsenal mate it's because Arsenal not hungry in that in that area they're just like right. it, it feels like they're just like right, mm. we're in it man. do you know what it is we I tried f- I feel like where business is just always going well for them yeah and they've become yeah. more of a business that's what like it is. They're, they're just cool. Yeah. They're just cool. Yeah, they're yeah. like, they, they're seeing profit, so they're just like, I don't mm. care what these fans are crying about. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's mad because even, you know, that, that guy that they were supposedly after the striker, that, oh, that, that love it. guy, yeah. For time, it's been looking like the guy just does not want to come. But yet, we're still <laughs> we're here. Still like they're offloading all their players. I'm looking now on the screen <laughs> that Aubameyang's going to Barca or Juventus. Who are we getting to... Do you know what I mean? And Ketia looks like he's going to um, Newcastle. Maybe. Oh, Newcastle as yeah, well. Yeah, I just see it flash up on there. Bro, like, we're getting rid of all our players. So who's coming in? I'm expecting to see something crazy this weekend. Mate, well, I'm not, to be honest. I'm nah, honestly... Well, that's I'm, what I do. I'm, I always get myself built up. But if all these people are leaving, where like, we need replacement, we need honestly, someone to come in, and honestly, we still need that striker. I, I don't know. You know what? On, on, on that striker situation, you, you being a striker, yeah? What do you do when... Because I'm one of those that's like... Yes, Aubameyang hasn't been playing or hasn't been scoring, but you don't become a bad player overnight. Yeah. I still think, like, if he goes... I might surprise you here, but go on. Oh, if, he go, if he goes to Barca and, or Juventus, I believe he will score goals. Yeah. But yeah. Bear, like, what he's been doing isn't good enough. Yeah, it's, it's not been good enough. But as a striker, what do you do when that happens? Like, 
because I'm pretty sure you've gone f- through goal droughts or whatever. Yeah. And at the beginning of the season, he was actually playing well. Yeah. But, like, how do you turn that round? Or is it just a case of, you know what, your time's done? Nah, I think for him to turn it around, sorry, yeah. for him to turn it around, he needs, like, the manager that's just going to keep playing him no matter what. Mm. And I think he would have had that, but he it don't seem like his behaviour is... Mm. Do you get me? It don't seem like he's helping himself. Yeah. I think when you go through them patches, like you just got to have a manager that knows. You, they know what you're capable of. Yeah. You get me? And you can just find your way, you can just dig your way out of it. But he's he's not playing well. Then he's, his attitude's not looking great. So Arteta's just like, for him, it's a different case. It's just He's just done here, I think. Yeah. And also, I'll tell you this, I'm not a big Aubameyang fan. Really? I'm not a big Aubameyang fan. Even when fan. you're scoring goals? Um. Yeah, nah, obviously, yeah, when he's scoring goals. But mm. even the last season he was scoring goals, was it the last season? What, what did he the get season last season? Last, season? Yeah. Even then, Aubameyang winds me up. He's not, he doesn't do anything else. <laughs> but Aubameyang's rapid, you know. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. don't see him run past him. Like, he, his finishing is 10. Mm. I'll give him, like, this, I'll probably get a stick for this. Yeah. But I just don't rate him that much as a football player. Yeah, And that I, goes I back that. to me telling you, I'm not just like, see, mm. goal scoring, it's not just how I'm wired. So that's just how mm. I think. Mm. That's why I like Laka more. Obviously, if if I need a goal, I'm playing at Bamyang mm. when he's on form. But I just don't, I'm not even bothered if he goes. But I hear what you're saying. But then at the end of the day, you know, you just get some players who they're not interested in playing football. Yeah. So, okay, let's take Defoe. Yeah. No, but Defoe could, you see Defoe will hold up the ball in these No, things. no, no, no. But let's, 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 let's just take Defoe. Okay, let me not, let me not choose Defoe. Who, who can I? Owen, maybe. Okay, let's, let's take Michael Owen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Michael Owen weren't interested in doing anything but but scoring goals, yeah. As long as you're scoring them goals, yeah, it doesn't matter. It don't matter. Yeah, he, and I think this is where Abamyang is coming unstuck now. Yeah, because yeah. if he was a man that was running up and down pressuring players yeah. and blah blah blah, then you know, I think people can might give him a bit do of that though, that give him a bit can of, at least do that. Mm. He doesn't do that. Mm. That's what I don't like about Abamyang. I'm not asking you to be um a mad baller. I'm mm. just saying, if you your scoring goals is your thing, when you're not, at least work hard. Man. At least be impacted. At least imp- At least mm. help. Mm. He's just literally like you're a man down for for the name he's got. It's unacceptable. <sighs> but maybe this is just me. If no, I think if no, you don't a, play a, for my team, a lot of people would 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 agree. I, I don't know, man. If I mean don't play for my team, if you don't play for Arsenal, uh, I won't be this harsh on him. Yeah, but he does. And when men are ripping man in the group chats and these things, oh. I'm looking at his whole game. You get me? <laughs> it's, so, it's so crazy because when you look at him over the last 10 years, last season especially, his first time off of form, like yeah. not, not scoring. So I gave him that leeway. Yeah, yeah, no. Nah. Right, and which is right, which yeah. is right. This year, it's a bit, it's, it's harder because he started off well as well, but now it's becoming like a bit of a pattern. Yeah. So then it gets to the point where, no, nah, is man really finished? Because yeah. unfortunately it happens sometimes. Yeah. But it's, I think it's more so to do with the fact that the decline was so rapid yeah. that <laughs> it, it can't be. It, well, let me tell you this though as well. He, with him, he's not that he's, he's not missing sitters and that, you know. It's not like Timo Werner and that. Yeah. He's not missing, he just don't <laughs> look, he don't look dangerous. Mm. Mm. That's the worrying thing. You see if I got a striker and he's, He's just missing sitters and that. Yeah. I'll be like, it's calm. Like, I, I don't mind. Like, yeah. he's getting chances. I don't even see him getting chances. Yeah. He's just out on the left doing, doing up touchline from, I don't know what he's doing. I think that kills him as well. This whole left, this whole left, when you're not doing. When you're not doing nothing. Mm. You get me? That's yeah. the thing with him. He don't look dangerous. It's <sighs> not that he's not scoring. I don't mind. I'm a striker. I've been mm. also, I can't chat to a bad man when it comes to football. I'm just saying, he don't look dangerous. I don't know. I don't know what what, what else to, to say about that. Right now, he's not looking dangerous. Yeah. I still think somewhere in there there's a player, mm. and I, I think that as long as Arsenal don't get a, a striker in, I think it'd be wrong to to not play him. I think yeah. I, yeah. I I just think I think that right now at the beginning of the season, if you said midway through the season we're in and around in and around Champions League, yeah. I would I would have been like what? what yeah yeah like so to get there. Yeah. And we've got to throw everything at him now. You, you, and you, you've he's got, got to be play- I hear you. No, he, he has to. Like, yes, he's not scoring or whatever, but if you can just tap into something for four something, or five months, yeah. get us over the line. Put your arm around him for the last bit of the season and yeah, see what happens. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
assuming you're not getting anyone yeah, else. Yeah, in. yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Because like we say, Laka, he he's a baller. Love him to but bits, he's but not that guy. he's not gonna score that. He might as well Giroud. Yeah. In in the sense that yeah. for years Giroud did so well for us yeah. and I loved him, but he's not the guy to win not, you title. Yeah, he's not, and he's not getting gonna, you yeah, yeah. It's, it's not enough. So I don't know. We'll 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 see. But um before we move away from strikers, right now in in world football, I was having a, a debate on the podcast a couple of weeks back, might be months back now actually, that strikers now, compared to back in the day, mm. it's almost not like, there's no... Yeah, there's not even, if I'm trying to think of like strikers, it's like even hard to like think of like strikers. Yeah, you, you come away from Lewandowski, Lewandowski Kane, Kane, Erling, Kane. Mm. You come away from them and now we're looking at, you know, Vlavic who... To be honest, he's had what a season and a half, maybe. I, I, and that's the, exactly what you're saying. I ain't watched him. I'm yeah. not gonna lie and tell you that mm. I know about him doing a madness. But those are the people we're, this we're is talking exactly. about. Exactly. Whereas back in the day, you could name a bag of them ten strikers. Like so, like it's because it's going. You see this the free uh, the free up front. Mm. Then it's just the wingers. I even went through it in my last like few years. You know what I mean? I'm playing in the on the in the nine, mm. but the wingers are getting all the chances. Yeah. That's how the game's set up now. Mm. Like nines are not, unless the team is playing around them, they're not getting that kind of, it's like mm. they're dying out. But do you know City ain't imagine? even playing with one. I was about to say that, but. Barca done that too. But what I'm going to say to that, yeah, is, yeah, well, Barca can do that when you've got Messi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, cheap, yeah. Um, um, the thing about that, yeah, is that I think that in today's football, you can get away with doing the whole false nine thing. But yeah. I think at the real top end, I'm always going to be like, no, you need a striker yeah, in there. And and I think that was shown the, like the most with Man City, and Chelsea final. Like Champions League. Like, if City have a striker, they win that. They win that, they they win win that win game. That. Yeah. I, I, I just think you can go, and I think that's why they probably went in with Kane, Kane. Yeah. Thinking that, you know, they're going to yeah. get him and whatever. But I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I just think right now, the wingers are the, like you say, yeah. The assets. And the nines are not. Yeah, and not and nines don't really need to anymore. be scoring. But yeah. you know, I, I I like to think that those days will come back. But even you, know. as a striker, who are the strikers in today's football? Forget Lewandowski, Kane. Forget the confirmed ones. Are there any strikers out there you look at and you think, nah, cold? Is, yeah. Mad. See, I can't, <laughs> see, when I was just looking there, yeah, my mind was actually mm. blank. Yeah. All I'm seeing is like wing, like wingers, like yeah, left forwards and right forwards. I can't. It's so mad. I mean, it's a shame, but I feel I'm. Yeah, you know, I'm probably leaving football the right time, fam. Mm. Like whenever it is, because you're not leaving yet, though, are you? I don't know. I don't know. Fam. Really? I don't know. Fam. Yeah, I'm honestly not sure. Um, yeah, I can't think of nines like that. Fam. Mm. Like, I really can't. Wow. Yeah. It's crazy because neither can I. Like, Even the prem, who's like. When you look at the top goal scorers right now, it's it's hardly any strikers in there in the prem. Yeah, I'm telling you because the the, the, the wingers, the, mm. the right of the three and the left of the three, they're the ones. <laughs> and I think that's why Haaland's such like a hot commodity right now. Yeah. Because that's why their men will go for anything. They're mm. like gold dust. Yeah, yeah. When you get a striker that can still put the ball in the back of the net, bro. Wow. It's that it's actually that, a nine. That podcast um, with Andy Cole that I was talking to you about, he said on it that. Like the bare minimum a striker should be able to do right now is get twenty goals a season. I agree with that. Man. Twenty goals, like to be a top striker. He's just like now, strikers are getting like eleven, twelve goals and getting and big. They can't. Yeah, you know, in international football. Yeah, and World Cups, Euros. They don't have to do much. That's what I'm saying. Mm. It's mad. Yeah, I don't. I don't actually like where football's going like that. You don't. Nah, I'm from an era where the, the winger is. Happy to set you up. That's it. Mm. Now you're battling the breader, like <laughs> for golden boots and that. Yeah, it's mad. Sorry, man. I'm old school, but no, do your listen, job and I do my one, innit? I think that's where I get I get a lot of stick as well, um, like banter stick because you know they, they like to call me a, an old head. Yeah, and I'm always throwing in like back streeters and, yeah, and stuff like that. And and I always say, yeah, back streeter in this day and age. Oh, he'd be, he'd, he'd be a mad superstar. Me, I have, I think that I'm, I've often thought these things, but mm. the brothers ain't gonna pass to him. This is what I'm trying. To <laughs> this is what I'm trying to explain to you. Fam. Imagine if he's playing in a nine for Liverpool. Mm. 
he ain't getting no crosses like that. He, yeah. Maybe from Trent. Yeah. But them brothers are not passing to their in beef with him. This is what I'm trying to explain mm. to you, man. Yeah. They want the golden boot. It's so funny because you see that at Liverpool, maybe last season, the season before, Mane and Salah and Sal looked like they didn't want to pass to each other. Each other. There was a stage I was worried for them too. Mm. I can mm. see Mane after Salah does something, he's vexed. Bro. Yeah. yeah. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, this bread is not happy. But yeah, I'm telling you, man. It's got, I'm telling you now, the nine few years, man, you know, I'm not sure if you're going to be seeing these brothers like flourishing at all. Yeah. It's you've got, you're going to have to be ruthless. Like how Haaland is. Mm. He's ruthless. Haaland is also like another cheat code, you know. Mm. Like, that use that beast. Oh, uh, listen, you know, there's, I saw a, couple, a few months back, I was like, no, Haaland is, is really good at football. <laughs> He's really good at football. But then there was one, there was one time I saw him, yeah. Like, yeah. I think it was like a, um, in, in one game I saw all this, like, they had a counter-attack. And so there was a corner against them. They I'm broke. Talking about the way he oh was my gosh. The run when he's like. I'm like, this guy <laughs> is a machine, bro. And yeah. then there was a goal he scored where, I think, I think it might have been the same game. He scored like a like an overhead kick. Yeah. And I was just like, how is he that big? And he's doing to... this. Now nah, he's actual, he's a, he's a beast. No, nah, it's it's crazy. He's an actual beast still. Yeah, it was all mad. But anyway, you, you know, we'll, we'll <clears> see, you know, in years to come where it's going to... Um, you know where it's going to go and how it's going to develop but what i did want to quickly touch on um and it came up on the screen mm. your nephew yeah yeah right i knew your nephew was was playing but if i'm being totally honest i didn't realize how close he was to first, first team, team yeah. to first team football in it and until you put the picture up of you and oh, your, at, and at the game going, yeah, going, yeah. going to the game mm. and i was just like oh raw like He's that close. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, he's he's that close. And then, and then I saw um, your dad. I saw I saw on the internet of him taking a picture of the screen of the screen. Was, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's he's doing well. He's doing well, man. He's man. doing well. Like, but how does that make you feel as like your nephew? Number one, just seeing that he's actually excelling and doing well. But number two, is there also that kind of pride that? Yeah, the, the bloodline is... Yeah, a little, <laughs> bit, a little bit, actually. But you know what? I've always noticed Sean the other day. I was talking to Sean. I was like, it's mad. You know, I, I rate him more. Like, And if there's another one of our younger family members mm. that make it, I'll rate him even more or her, whatever. But mm. because to do it, like, after three other people have done it, yeah, the pressure, like, you was asking me about the pressure. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like, it must be difficult for him to... Mm. And this is social through. media era. Social well. media, you know what I mean? And he's like, he's done well to like, to even get this far, man. Honestly, like I rate it. Like at the game fam, I was close to like balling. Oh, is it? I love like, that. Because even on the way there, I'm like, I'm going to watch Margie. But I'm not, it's not registering. Yeah. I'm just thinking, yeah, I'm on the way up to watch Margie. But then mm. when I'm seeing him running around, it, and he's playing with a couple people I've played with, like, mm. you get me? Like, <laughs> there's players on his team that I've played with. And he's playing against man now. Played against. I'm like, this is yeah. this is real. Yeah, like this youth playing professional football. So it was, yeah, it was mad, man. It was mad. He's doing well, though, man. I think he started like the last four. Mm. He's doing well, man. Yeah, Sean yeah. as well must be mad. Have you had to, you know, because he comes across as just a level headed, level headed person? Yeah. But has there been that thing where it's just like, listen, you've not like, obviously, because you're older head now. Yeah, yeah. Do you look back and say, look, you could be excited or whatever, but. Yeah you've not really achieved anything yet. You just keep exactly. going and whatever. Have you had to have those talks with him? just like, just enjoy yourself. I haven't had the, and I think that's for Sean to do. Mm. I haven't had those kind of talks, but when I message him, I'll tell him little things. You're still, this is just a grind now. It mm. started these kind of things, but mm. he ain't like, he ain't one of them go out breaders all the time. You get yeah. me? He's got a girl and that he's chilling. Oh yeah. yeah. You get ones, me? Chilling, ones, dogs. Mm. You get me? So he's, he seems like he's not too gassed by all those things. I remember mm. like, at a certain age, I was gassed about them things. Yeah. I wanted to be out there. I wanted people <laughs> to know who I was. Mm. You get me in the in the clubs. I'm here. <laughs> you get me? And I don't think he'll have that about him. Mm. I, mean, I, don't, I hope not anyway. Yeah. No, it's, it's good though. And what's, from what you've seen of his game, what's, what's, the, what's been the thing that's impressed you the most about you know what's mad about it? He just reminds me of Sean. Mm. Like everything about how he plays, how he like yeah. rides a tackle. Mm. Everything he does just reminds me of Sean. Yeah, but he's um, now nah, what? What I was impressed with, I spoke to my dad about this. Is he's clever in space? Like I don't think any of us were really like that. Mm. Sean's like a dribbler. You know what I mean? Me, I'm like in the box. Obviously, my dad the same. But mm. the 
the way when I watched him at the, um, watched him live, he was really good in space, like finding spaces, yeah, turning. You know what I mean? Knowing where the space is, where the danger spots are. It was good. It surprised me because mm. I thought he was just going to be really just about dribbling. Yeah, like sure, man. Like, he's got a lot about him, man. He can play if he keeps grinding. He he can go like he can go far. Yeah, it's it's good. It's good you say that because those are the little <laughs> things that I don't think a lot of you, unless you know football. You don't really appreciate things like that. Yeah, no, nah, you won't see. Yeah, them men that are just good at just finding those pockets and Crazy. and yeah. finding finding spaces are they're just like the best. And it just brings me back to, you know, one of my favorite players, regardless of what Arsenal people say, is Ozil. Ozil yeah. And Ozil was very good yeah. at, at finding those. He wasn't that quick, man? For that yeah, to have all that time and space all the time. Yeah, so you know, you know, hopefully he he goes on and and pushes on. I have no doubt that he will, especially with you, man, behind him. Man. And do you know what I actually do like as well? Like, even on social media with the mandem like that I see, they hype they're hyping him up now because yeah. he's Ian Wright's yeah. grandson, Sean Wright Phillips' yeah, dad, yeah. Bradley. So they're hyping him up. But you lot have kind of just kind of Yeah, stay away. It's not our Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, it's you're his, just it's his story. You just, you just kind yeah, of just, just stayed away and, and and I do like that. Yeah, it's his story. Like I I weren't posting, but he's my little nephew. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm not, I wasn't posting him two, three years ago. He's, annoying, yeah. he's an annoying little nephew. Yeah. yeah. And now <laughs> because he's playing football, I'm not going to mm. be like, yeah, oh, my nephew. And you know what I mean? This is mm. his, this is his story. For him. Right. No, I love that. But um, yeah, on to you now. So you're back. Mm. How did you find your time at Columbus? It was, it was a tough one. You know what? I loved it. Mm. Like, like being 100% real. That's probably like the best change room I've been in. Oh, I swear. This, yeah, this change room. And I've won things with Red Bull now. Do you know what? It, it looked that way. Sometimes I'm seeing you repost stuff. I'm like, this guy looks like he's having fun. Right. I never used to see that. This like, is the blackest team I've been on. <laughs> this is so many black brothers on our team. Ugh. Like all different backgrounds. You get mm. me? Like Caribbean, Africa. It was just crazy. Mm. Um, yeah, the banter was it. But I think that was our downfall. Oh, I okay. think we were too, everyone was too close, too mm. friendly. Yeah. So no one's really like, digging each other you know what I mean like mm. telling people what they need to be told and mm. you get me it was a little bit too much fun but me personally it wasn't good for me I scored like two goals like one in the cup yeah one in the league I wasn't playing much because I went there and I spoke to a manager like yeah I'll do a role like as a backup striker yeah I was I was doing that thing what we spoke about the age thing he's on the phone he's like yeah you're getting on you know, yeah, I yeah. Want you around for the changing room mm. coming but I should have been like nah I want to play like everywhere I want to fight for this yeah but I was more on it and I I think that killed me a bit because I just, at my age though, I couldn't come off the bench for 15 minutes and yeah. be sharp. It was just impossible. Mm. Go and not play one game and start the next game. And yeah. it's too difficult to, but my time there, I loved it. Off yeah. On the pitch, it wasn't great. It wasn't great. But, so you've, you've now, because to be honest, I asked that question, but I didn't actually know if you'd, you'd like left. Is, is that like? Yeah, I was done with them um, from January. Okay, cool. So, so now that that's happened now, I got a feeling you're gonna you're gonna skirt around this answer, yeah. I but probably won't. To be fair. I might actually. Go on. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I think you know what, what might be coming. So, honestly speaking, without saying what you're going to do or whatever, yeah. But where is your head at right now? Because I'm not gonna lie to you. I think the fact that you've even stuck around this long in in England, yeah, 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 is because exactly. when when I came back. When I came back and then you thought I, was gonna be I thought it was gonna be long gone, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you told me you're still. I was like, oh, right. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just feel like not that you're ready to like yeah. go, but like you're just chilly, just taking your time to really, yeah. to really assess what's because going on. I don't know in it. Like mm. I genuinely don't know. Like yeah. I spoke to a few managers at places, and I'm just like, yeah, it sounds good. It mm. does sound good, but you gotta remember, like I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to move my wife, my Uproot. kids, a new mm. school. Yeah. Knew this, knew that for just maybe one year, mm. but then I'm I'm not sure if I'm good with just not playing football again, yeah. like not going training. That's like yeah. a mad thought to me, also. Mm. So while I'm speaking to these people, normally I'd just be in. I, if I wasn't sure, I'd just go somewhere and train with yeah. the team at least. Mm. But I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm enjoying just, just extending in London. You get me? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's a tough one because I really don't know what I want to do. Mm. But I've got some other things as well off the field that are good as well. So. Mm. It's just weighing up the options. But, like, would it be fair to say that you're still getting, like, the offers to play? Yeah, yeah. I've spoke to, like, mm. a few people. Yeah. Like, decent offers, you know what I mean? Like, Do you still get offers, like, here? No, nah, not not here. The last time I got an offer, it must have been about, I don't know, 
maybe two years ago, maybe. That's probably something that, no, no, I'm not doing that. No, you know, when I was here, yeah, I was, I was going to go and train with Charlton, you know, I spoke to Johnny Jackson and I was going to go down there. Because I was thinking that's going to start up all this like rumors yeah, or yeah. something maybe. And mm. like, but um, yeah, it, when, I'm, when I'm here, I can see myself going and playing like in a league one or mm. get me or whatever. But when I'm away, when I'm abroad, when I'm back in America, so I don't yeah. really think about playing in America. Because yeah. my, my currency's there, bro. Like I'm, there's mm. a million of me in England. So America, it just in everything, apart from like yeah, my family, my brethren, whatever. Yeah, it just makes more sense to me. I'll prefer to live in England if I'm being real. Like, oh really? When I'm back here, I love it. Mm. But when I get to America, I'm just like, okay, work. This is where. Yeah. This is where I'm Bradley Wright Phillips. This is where mm. I can go and do TV. I can go and yeah, you get me work at Red Bull or whatever. Mm. Oh yeah, that's. I was about to get onto that as well because, yeah. like, life outside of football. Would it be fair to say that over here, you would have to work, like you'd yeah, have to work for those opportunities? Go, yeah, for sure. Whereas in America, like you said, yeah. you know, it probably wouldn't be as hard to get those opportunities. Of course, man. Okay, so this is an example. Look at again. I'm um, I'm 36. Wayne Rooney is 36. Is a striker. Premier strike is my age, my generation. He's the man. This is who I'm competing against. Mm. Out of like, if I'm retiring and trying to do so, I'm yeah. it's Wayne Rooney and and all these guys. You get me? Mm. But over in America, I'm I'm that guy, I'm the dude. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Where I can go and get maybe a job first. Yeah. But why are you gonna want to hear me? You can listen to Carlton Cole. He played in the Prem long guy. Mm. My brother Jermaine Defoe. These people, yeah, you can yeah, go yeah. and speak to them. You don't need to. I hear that. You get what I'm saying? Mm. So it wouldn't even make sense for me to come here and try and do what I could do over there. Mm. It just wouldn't make sense. Is that something you do want to get into though? After life after football. Punditry or do you know what I want to do? Like even when I was saying, I was saying to you about, I want to kind of be a link for like England and America and the MLS. Mm. You get me? Good players that are finding it hard to to get a team here or yeah, you know what I mean or whatever they've gone through or whatever they need, but and just introduce them to MLS and let them know that you get me. You can you could be a legend there. You can go and wait, make things work. You get me? Yeah, it's 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 right because I see um. Lloyd is out there doing, mm-hmm. yeah, doing the, Bro, the, the media, the media. And you and Lloyd's thing is so funny. That guy is a mix. Bro, we were going to do something where we were just like recording our FIFA, but talking about, I mean, our no, Call of Duty. Honestly, you should. <laughs> because, you know, to this day, yeah. yeah. Okay, I've done, what, this is like going to be 180 podcasts now. Yeah, no, that's sick. Yeah, so my first 10, mm. my first 10 podcasts, yeah. Honestly, I mean, my, my best 10. You're, you're in there. I told oh, you. I told you because it was just like, I'm, nah, I'm speaking to a star here. Like. <laughs> nah, and we'll you know what? Off. Very quickly on that, even after that year, people were like, yo, that's Bradley Wright Phillips, you know? I don't even know people thinking me like that over no, here. No, but it's, it's, it's crazy because... <clears throat> in America, that wasn't surprising. Right? I yeah, don't yeah, think but... they did yeah. until it's like, you know when, because people know that you're out there killing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. They like know. Out, but, out of sight, out of Yeah, but they know you're there killing it. Yeah. But then... They saw you on that live and they were like, he's actually a star. <laughs> like, I, would, I actually wouldn't go that far though. It's mad to me. Because yeah, I'm always but, like, go on, anyway. You know, you had the sun <clears throat> behind you all saying, yeah, you, see, like, you even had the, 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 <laughs> blue, the Bluetooth, the one, the one ear thing. And you was like, yeah, like, no. I was just like, yo, <laughs> this, is, this is mad. But um, yeah, yeah. So I put you in there and honestly, if you got, if you ever have time, Go like, back and watch the one with Lloyd. You see that brother, fam? He, <laughs> he needs a TV show. Fam. He actually needs a TV show, fam. I think we were chatting for like, I had to shorten it, but he's we were hilarious. For like three hours. You don't mean to be, though. Everything he's saying is genuine. Oh, well, even but thinking he's about hilarious, it, fam. he's honestly, yeah, that podcast there, yeah. <laughs> I'm watching it. I'm listening, I'm watching it. No, no, nah, nah, honestly, he, he's just so, and he's just so upfront, and he just, like yeah. he said, I don't think he realizes. He, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but that boy, <clears throat> he's incapable of lying. Uh, he's the realist. Yeah. Nah, I'm yeah. not talking about you lot street real. Yeah. Like, yeah. He's the realist. Right? Yeah. He's incapable of lying. He's going to tell you the truth. He's going to tell you he's got a problem. Mm. Like he's, Lloyd is too cold, fam. Yeah, nah, he's, he's a good interview. Even just playing Call of Duty, like we used to play every night. Mm. Um, we're crying, blood. Like yeah. while we're playing tears of like, like, like the guy's too funny. I wish, you know, that Call of Duty, <laughs> I wish. I was good at it, you know. So sick. But you just got to put in the hours. Damn. You know what it is, yeah? Because growing up, I'm not going to lie, the only games I played FIFA. And then there was Pro Evo for a little while. Yeah. 
So even now, I don't really get time to play FIFA, but I want to play FIFA, yeah. So well, I'm just hearing hella notes. I know, I'm, I'm, nah, don't do <laughs> hella, I'm feeling, hey, I'm, I'm hearing, hearing the hella notes, bro. Yeah, but in your life. Them, them signing <laughs> on fees are coming yeah. earlier. But, but um, yeah, so um, I've grown up playing FIFA and then there was this one, the one Call of Duty, uh, it was Modern Warfare. No, it was back in the day. Yeah. yeah back in, it, was it, might, it might have been, but I remember there was one where, do you play like story mode on the career? Yeah, I used to. So there was one, I can't remember, but like I shot him. Like it was earlier in the game, <laughs> that story, and only his hand went off. Oh, yeah. His hand went off. But uh, I didn't know that. I thought I was just my shooting, but that's just the that's way the, the storyline. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. just, I was always going to do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Anyway, I clocked it, yeah. I remember it's just the last level. I got him on, and I, I was like, raw. I actually clocked Call of Duty. I did it on intermediate. Oh, you should have went straight into yeah. multiplayer. I've gone into multiplayer. Different thing now, innit? Listen, I'm like, I'm ready to to just shoot now. Yeah? You thought you was an expert because you'd done the story. But listen, I started. All I was, pew, pew, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm, come on. I'm Jesus dead. Like, like guys are up. just really taking that. Bam, it's real. Yeah, and, and like, I tried to play with my friend. He, t- he did zombies. Yeah, nah, uh, zombies and I'm not into Yeah, I'm, I'm just like, nah. So I really wish, yeah, I could do that whole online thing because the banter I see guys Big. have. It's just such a good way to like just, just keep wind in down. touch. I didn't and used to speak yeah, to Lloyd I, I enough. Keep in touch, yeah. I didn't used to speak to him enough. Mm. So we played that with chat every day. Yeah. You get me? Nah, man, that's 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 decent. But yeah, so right now you don't know what, what you're doing. When are you heading back to uh, Monday? Is that confirmed? Yeah. Because I know you, 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 you keep you keep putting it off. Yeah, like. yeah. Nah, it's confirmed, I think. Mm. Where do you actually is. where do you actually like stay when you're in America? Newport Beach at the moment, like California. But I'm more of an East Coast guy, so I'm guessing shortly we'd probably go back to like New York slash New Jersey. Okay. Yeah. And is that where you're just going to go decide what you're... Yeah. In fact, I'll decide what I'm going to do first. And mm. then if if it's not playing, then I'll go back there probably. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, you know, hopefully... I, I don't want... I'm that guy. I just never want to see people like... Yeah, be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm talking like it's easy, like, but it's not as... How I'm saying it, it's not like mm. it's easy. You get me? Like, it's not... Yeah, like, because... You know, if there's one thing that people who I've spoken to who are out of the game now, I'm talking about the people that have played like, yeah. like they always say, yeah, listen, as long as your body can do it, yeah, keep going, do it because you're a long time retired. Yeah, my dad was telling me this. Yeah, you're you're a long time retired, innit? And like you, you still love the game though. Yeah, innit? exactly. I was just playing with my my brethren's uh, their vets team the other day. I went training. Sick. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's sick. I didn't. I, I don't think my toe, it. man. I had to quickly, I'd left all my boots and that in America. So yeah. I've gone shop quickly. Where was I? Sports Direct. Yeah. Picked up some eight and a half. So I'm at eight and a half. Yeah. Like, I don't wear Nike. Yeah. They're tight. <laughs> I'm ducking around the pitch now. When I've got home, my toes are bruised up. Mm. But it was fun, man. It was fun. Don't you miss that though? Like playing with That's, that's, that's what I want to do. Yeah. See, you see when I'm retired, that's why I'm going to miss England. Because yeah. I want to play on the Vets team. Like with yeah. my brethren. I'm not even old enough to die yet. What are you now? 34. Oh, you got a year, fam. I think yeah. 35, innit? Yeah. So my friend's got a Vets team now, Hollington. Yeah, HFC vets, yeah, and the, he, he's he's counting down the days. I can't wait. Counting down the days. To I can't play, wait. To play man, like to, one day, run out with the lad with my brethren. That's cold. Yeah. I think that's the coldest. Yeah, no, that's. I th- I think no matter what. So even before like the leg break and whatever, yeah. um, down at Millwall, I don't know if you see Millwall got the indoor, like down the side. Yeah, yeah, down at Millwall Stadium, every Wednesday, me and like the man them. I'm talking about man them that play, like. Pro, yeah, yeah, like go down there. they go down there. It, it was like we had the last and um, the last slot, so it was always from nine to ten. It might have been ten to eleven. Wow, that's late. No, it was nine to ten. It was nine to ten. Yeah. We had the last slot because I remember we always missed the second half of Champions League. Yeah, because we were playing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> we go down there, and when I tell you, yeah, that the quality of football there, Class. Yeah, and because everyone's playing at some, uh, not everyone's yeah, playing but at some level, decent level. But you get, yeah, yeah, you get. A good, good level. So even the ones who aren't playing football no more, mm. like my boy Scotty, Scotty weren't playing football anymore. But he used that. But he used to be at Dulwich Hamlet or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But he, he don't kick no more. But he put on all this weight, just coming down that, just coming down to that lost football. Way, it? Lost it all, sick. and like he rediscovered his. You know what I mean? And it sick, kept man it? sharp. Yeah, yeah, sick man. I can't it, wait. It kept man sharp, and you know, being able to play football without the pressure. This is what I mean. I think work. since sixteen, I've mm. been playing football for like for points. Mm. And to fight in relegation or trying to get promoted and yeah. tactics and systems and mm. even just the other day, just playing was just sick. Yeah. 
Yeah, man. Sick. Free. I, I do. It's like I a different sport. That. See professional yeah. football than like goals or just like a Sunday team. It's like a whole different sport. Yeah. Anyway, bro, you'll you'll be you'll be here playing vets. I know yeah, a couple one day, couple bro. teams that are gonna wanna wanna sign <laughs> you. One day, but then it all depends as well on you know where you are long term. So. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see. But yeah, man, love for for coming to you. Nah, man, I'm not I'll gonna take too here. much. I'm not gonna take too much of your time and that. But I'll, I'll always come here, man. Sorry mm. to cut you, but I think it's dope. I think you got like a nice, relaxing. You get mm. me? Like guys like me can just be be ourselves, fam. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. No, it's credit to you because it's sick. Normally, I don't like chatting, especially about football, but. It's when I talk to you, it's just like mm. when I talk with my this friends, you get me? An hour. It's flown by. Oh, that's an hour? Yeah, flown by. Well, hours yeah. since I officially turned that on. Wow, that's but obviously, we were yeah. chatting for a good Nah, but it's dope. Minutes, just good. keep doing your thing, fam. It's sick. Oh, I love that, man. Yeah, no, that's 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 the plan, man. I've got, I got a couple of things planned for this year that I'm not going to talk about on camera. Yeah. But, um, you know, that's, that's the whole plan is to just keep it, you know, keep it going, elevating. Yeah. I want to... You know, well, I've created a space where players can come and just be themselves, yeah, yeah, and just chat. So, I'm hoping that more and more, and I've got some big names yeah. coming on, and and I'm happy that they're able to know to come and just be nice, be just be, be calm, in sure, it. Fam. And I'm I'm happy, yeah, because I can say this to you that like, I've done it in the right way in regards to I've stayed true, yeah. Like I've had opportunities that you could have switched up or done it a different way, yeah. And but you know, no discredit to them, and they can do that and. I don't really see longevity in that. That's what I was going to say to you. Whereas now, nah, I've done it my way. I don't know if you've been seeing, but I've been on Sky regularly. That's sick. I didn't know that. Man. Yeah, I've been... Because obviously, you know I'm not... Yeah, 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 I don't have Sky and all these things. Yeah, so I'm there. I'm on there every every week or so. That's dope. Man. The early morning kickoff show. So, and that's just been doing it my way. I've got other things. So, even I'm coming... I'm trying to... Anyway, we'll talk about that after, but yeah. you're going you're gonna to see me in America a lot more. Yeah? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, me, yeah. That's calm. So, that's dope. But yeah, no, I love for coming on. I don't know if there's anything I didn't say. Blah, 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 blah. No. It's so funny because there's a lot of stuff here that I've, got, you know, I always do a couple notes and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. But just in conversation. It come up. Yeah, it come up. Like <laughs> one of the last things I've got talking about is strikers. And yeah. are, are they still in fashion? That was the last thing I put on the list. Yeah, they're decent. And then you mentioned that like early yeah, on in the yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So it always works out, man. Just just calm, calm chit chat. But yeah, guys, keep liking, subscribing, sharing. You know, I'm gonna put all the socials there. You know, let me know if there's anything you need to you need to hear. And we're on we're slowly getting to two hundred guys. So if you guys, you know, like last time last time I asked them who they wanted as the hundredth guest. And um a lot of them picked um Andy Cole. That's why I had Andy oh, Cole. Sick, yeah, yeah. So to, for that to be where there's another name there, but <laughs> we're, 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 we'll get there we'll get there but um, um, guys just let me know comment as usual and um, yeah we're out subscribe that's it